The next topic we'll look at is point cloud data management. Point clouds uh, and their management has had a total rework uh, to improve speed and flexibility of both reading and managing data within 12D. You can read in single files or multiple. There's an optional, optional cartographic projection for files as well as a uh, cartographic translation option as well. All readers have file rejection by polygon or as we term in 12D fencing um, and the point cloud is read in as a string. Point cloud formats that we look at are the LAS um, or LIDAR or ALS, the E57 transfer format which is common to many manufacturers we can also convert the E57 to an LAS, enabling us to look at categories, but more on that later. We read the Leica PTS and PTX format and convert those to an LAS as well. Uh, we read in the ST SRTM format and the Faro scanner format. And there, there will be more to come in the, in the future. Point clouds also have um, categories um, that are that are, that are managed. We can see from the, the panel here on the right hand side the different layers that are able to be managed through our point cloud um, file readers. Point colours are supported, turning of the categories on and off in the point cloud is supported and drawing, picking, triangulation, output etc are restricted also by the categories if the operator wishes. Point cloud edits. Um, cloud edits um, can be managed through setting of categories by tin colour, um, copying of LS files by category to reduce the number of points. You can delete points. You can apply, as I said before, projections to the cloud or translate those. Um, and there will be more coming of those as well. Um, and you can also set the LAS categories by tin colour. Finally, drawing of the point cloud on a plan and perspective view. You can colour by point colour, colour by categories, colour by um, intensity as in the grey scale. Um, you can also colour by the string colour instead of a, a point colour and you can toggle it off and on to manage it more successfully. Next I'm going to give a live example of importing um, scan data. In the data input area we have the, the option called cloud points and you can see from these cloud points that we have the, the various formats that I previously uh, spoke of. We have a survey that's been created as a Leica PTX format which allows us to um, uh, bring in the native format. This is a survey of two um, types of survey, one of just a straight plain points and the other with um, intensities provided by the Leica instrument to um, actually uh, show a, a colour scale. So we read in the file, um, this is the file here, um, I'll put on here and untick this box which allows to see both the different types of surveys uh, that we're looking at. Um, in the basic side we can have the um, uh, intensities, I'll make this a magenta colour and what model do we want to put it into? Um, I'll do it as um, a demo scan. Um, we can have a projection for that if we wish and also we can fence the data to reduce the amount of um, data that's in there, either inside, inside and crossing, outside and so forth, the many different areas. But we'll just read this one in and as you can see it takes a, a moment, this is around a million points um, in this file and that's finished now and I'll just turn on that um, um, scan number one we are in the plan view um, and we can have a look at that and you can see there there's the two different types of survey if I just zoom into this area here we can see that the uh, it's a TBM tunnel um, it's you can actually see the the color of the of the panels that uh, run around the uh, the uh, 
scan or the cloud point data. The two surveys are the one here with the colour scale and the other in the magenta. So if we have a look at those in the um, 3D view and turn that on in there, we can see that it's, um, it's quite manageable for the, for the size of the file, uh, very fast and, and flexible as with most 12D options. And here I'll just spin this around and we can zoom in and have a look inside the tunnel um, as we go in. You can see there's the, um, the instrument location here that was doing the scan. There's always a, a gap underneath that. You've got the, the colour scales and the two surveys merged together. Pipework on the side of the tunnel um, and so forth. That allows us to, to manage that um, quite well. Um, and we can see here from that it's, it is able to be managed very, very well. Thank you.